<laughs> okay, I'm just gonna start. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Athena. If you're new to my channel, I put out videos on Thursdays and every other Monday. So today's video, I literally just got back from work, so I'm gonna do a chit chatty get on ready with me. Me and you, baby. The first thing that we're gonna do is get into some PJs. What? Is get into some PJs. This is dirty. But that's okay. <laughs> okay. I'm still wearing a bra, which is really unfortunate because I would love to take it off, but I'm not sure if that's really appropriate for YouTube. So we're just gonna move on to step number two. Hair up. Cause that is key, bitch. Key. Telephone cords? What, what are these? Wait. We back again with my dirty shirt. <laughs> Ooh, I feel like I should change this, but I'm not going to. I'm going to take the Marcel Instant Makeup Remover Waterproof Oil Free. This is it's still sealed, so I'm gonna open it for the first time. I love the Sephora one. That one is the best one that I have found thus far. It's relatively cheap. I believe it's about $20 for the big one. But I don't go to Sephora that often, so it's just easier for me. Ooh, that feels so good. Don't you find that so strange? Like, each thing your eyeball is like, <laughs> Anyway. So, what was I saying? So, I don't go to Sephora very often, and like, I mean, yeah, I could order online and stuff, but I'm just like, I don't have time for that. It's just easier, since I work in cosmetics, just pick something up from Shop or Shop Mart. So, um, I tried the Vichy one. The Vichy one is okay. I did use the entire thing, but... I feel like there's always bigger, better, badder, better out there. So I just decided to try this one. This one is a Canadian group. Paraben free, perfume free, hypoallergenic, ultra soft, dual face formula. Interested because it says oil free but waterproof? Like that's intriguing. I'm just gonna take it on a Quo Con pad. So I put some on there, let's just we're gonna hold this for like 10 seconds. I'm just gonna start massaging this. Oh shit. Wow. Wow, I'm actually really shocked. I think this is like, I don't know, like $10 or so. That's why I'm like, what? Do you guys like this background? I have two potential backgrounds in my new bedroom. If you haven't yet seen what my room looks like, definitely check that video out. I will leave it in a card. This is option A. Okay, next up, I'm gonna wash my face. I'll be back. Okay, so to wash my face. Oh, this is not a good idea to do on my new carpet. Hey. Oh God, I'm dripping. I'm just using the Vichy. It's my mouth. Vichy. Oh, something. The blue one. Who even cares? I get a lot of like samples and things for work so I got this one for free for gratis so I just like to try the products that I get rather than just like purchasing one when I get so much you know this one is pretty good I was using Bioderma before this again same idea I got it as gratis wanted to use it blah 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 I did think I liked the Bioderma better this one's still good it smells exactly and I mean like to a T exact like the Dior Hydro Life skincare line. Rinse. Uh, I tell you, after a long day, the best thing is to remove your makeup. It just feels so good, so clean, so nice. Next, I'm gonna use my Garnier Micellar Active Skin, no. Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water. I love this. I just use on a cotton pad again. And I'm just going to go over my face just to make sure that nothing, no man is left behind. You know? <laughs> I feel like 
when you're here and you're watching this video, you're probably like, oh my god, your skin is really nice. Thank you. <laughs> but I'm having a lot of texture. And it's just getting worse. So actually it happened when I did my full face of makeup I'm throwing out video because I actually used some expired makeup. Idiota. I did it for the tube and um, ever since then I just have like a lot of texture on my forehead. You can kind of see it there but now I'm also getting it here on the cheeks and over here. So I've kind of changed my skincare a smidgen uh, since my last skincare routine. I still love all those products but they are just not unclogging these pores. So basically I think what happened was when I did that video using expired makeup, it clogged the shit out of my face. I kind of had like a mini freak out moment and then I did what most people would do. I googled how to get rid of blackheads and one of the first things that popped up was tea tree oil. So I went to the store, bought some tea tree oil, used it for two days? three days mainly just on the forehead instant regret <laughs> I think I'm allergic to tea tree maybe or maybe it was just like way too strong because I was using a hundred percent tea tree oil on my face but I read and I watched a lot of videos and other people were using a hundred percent and it was fine for them but that goes to show you that everyone is different so I did not dilute mine so I got a reaction and then I was just freaking out even more because the the reason why I was like, no, why is this happening to me was because I was on Accutane for eight months. So from January 2017 to September 2017, eight months of my time, plus it's a lot of money. So when this happened, after spending so much time and money to get my skin nice, ugh, why? It's just like... Takes. I've had this texture problem for February, March, April, three months almost. I could not get it under control on my own. So I went to Sephora. She recommended me the Peter Thomas Roth Complexion Correction Pads. So this has 2% salicylic acid, but also 10% glycolic acid. Now, if you have never used glycolic acid, do not use this. My toner that I was using before this had 5% glycolic acid and I was using that every single day for over a year. So my skin is used to glycolic acid. So these are just pre-moistened pads. I just got them, I don't know, a week or two ago. Um, I am finding that the bumps are getting worse, but I'm also a firm believer in it has to get worse before it gets better. That's also how Accutane was. So I'm just gonna finish it. We are going, we're gonna do this, girl. She did mention to me like, oh, if it doesn't work, like you can come back and we can try something different. Unfortunately, I don't have that time nor patience. So if this doesn't work, I might just go to a doctor and then go to my dermatologist maybe because it's already been three months, you know? Do this everywhere. And literally, I just moisturize after this. Just because I'm trying to figure out if also it's a current product that's still breaking me out. Potentially, that's maybe why it's not going away. So I think right now, just doing a very basic skincare, just a cleanser, eye makeup remover, micellar water, this, and moisturizer is all I'm doing right now. I will link my other skincare video in a card as well. Um, it's 12 steps. It's very long. I love it though. But again, I'm just doing like a less is more thing right now just because I just want to figure out what is going on with the clogged pores on my face. Salicylic acid in here is hopefully going to actually unclog the pore and then the glycolic acid in it uh, kind of exfoliates. So I've been using these. It does say on the package that you can use it one to three times a day. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's still a little tingly even on me. 
So I just use it once at night and that is it. If you find it really, really dry, do it every other night. As for moisturizer, I am using the La Roche-Posay Tolerane. This is just the normal to combination. I'm gonna do three pumps of this and apply that all over the face. La Roche-Posay is very gentle. It is created by dermatologists. Okay, and then the last step, I'm just gonna apply some lip balm. This is the Nux lip balm. I used a good chunk of this. It's very, very thick. It's great for bedtime. It's almost like a lip mask. I've been doing like a smaller skincare routine ever since my face is pretty clogged. Oh, the tummy. Oh, the tummy. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Boop. And I will catch you in my next video. Toodles.